Everyone wants a little more quality time, time to enjoy the benefits of technology. So what trends will change our lifestyle in the future? And joining me now, back again, Wired Magazine's Nick Thompson and trend spotter Jeremy Gucci of Trendhunter. Dot com. Uh, um, uh, Nick, so many advancements, I think, yeah. in the last decades uh, when, when you look at how we communicate in particular and you think what can happen next given how much we do online. But you have some ideas. You think there are many advancements we're going to see very <laughs> soon. Well, technological advantages, I think one thing that's going to be fascinating we're going to see fairly soon is that our cell phones are going to bring us what's called augmented reality. And that is, you know, we're starting to see that, but you'll take your cell phone. It'll be much more powerful. You'll pay your bills with your cell phone. You'll get into the metro with your cell phone. Yeah. But you'll also be able to say, okay, I'm walking on 50 8th and 8th Avenue and you'll sort of flash and it'll tell you the history of the area or you'll look at the fruit stand and you'll get some information about where that orange came from and things like that and suddenly you'll have windows into you know massive amounts of information that you didn't have before. That is instant and at your fingertips. That is instant and that it's in your cell phone which will be more powerful than your computer. And, and what about, expand on that a little bit in terms of how we get our information. I just bought my husband a Kindle. But are they actually going to take off? Because they haven't quite yet reached that sort of pinnacle point, have they? And, and what are some other examples? Uh, well, Trendhunter.com, we've already been living in a paperless office and uh, I'm already in a state where everything that at our company we produce is digital content. And it was funny because when my book came out for the first time I saw that we'd made something that was in paper form and it, it kind of looked weird to see that. <laughs> and that's me in a, you know, a world where I think a lot of other people in the future will be in this more digital type world. And it will look weird when you look at somebody that has a paper book or a paper newspaper. Instead, you'll see electronic technologies like e-ink that are colorful, interactive, allowing you to browse the web, books, magazine in a much more video way. What is the next big thing, the, the next iPod that's going to take everybody by storm that we're going to see in the years ahead? We're going to see a tablet. We might see it in the next year. It won't take off. All these gadgets take a whole bunch of time, but there's going to be a tablet. Uh, it may well be made by Apple, and it'll be sort of halfway between your computer and your iPod, and that will be you know, the way you read magazines. It will be a way that, it, the problem with the Kindle right now is that you can't, you know, there aren't very, there aren't graphics. It's all black and white, it's all right. e-ink. So the idea of a tablet would be like a Kindle-like experience where you can have immersive graphics, where you can have internet access, where you can interact with it. So maybe it'll be Apple, maybe it'll be Amazon, but that's gonna come out next year and in five years is gonna be huge. Um, you've been looking at a lot of stuff involving robotics, too, in terms of how that's going to change us. Yeah, you know, it's funny that our view of robots tends to be impacted by pop culture, but increasingly in the future, you're going to see a lot more examples of robots in places where you'd expect human interaction. Uh, on Trend Hunter, we've actually seen more than a thousand examples of things like robot chefs, robot bartenders, robot nurses, robot hairstylists, and there's even a robot that can perform a biopsy surgery. So it's not just these places yeah. where you'll have an interaction, but actually places where robots could save lives. That scares me a little bit, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's taking a Robots one. everywhere. Because uh, you, you also said, Jeremy, you were tracking some, some items that will actually be able to sense our emotions. Yeah, Philips and other companies like uh, them have patented dozens of emotion-sensitive technologies. So we've seen emotion-sensitive apparel, emotion-sensitive jewelry and accessories. So like imagine you're talking about those like stones that turn colors or whatever. No, when this you're is happy, something sad. that's more technological. <laughs> no, that was that, uh, that was the '60s, Campbell. Uh, I know, imagine you know? like your cell phone when you get frustrated yeah. with it; it just gets harder to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But imagine uh, you know jewelry that can sense your biorhythms and better understand whether or not you're frustrated. Or imagine Imagine coming home after a stressful day and your emotion sensitive technologies can understand that. So the mood lighting in your house, your playlist starts to be based on something that will cheer you up. That is bizarre. <laughs> yeah, take Although I like that. I, I, like I do. It. I take do it like even that. A step further, there's actually uh, simple video games that can read your thoughts and thought controlled wheelchairs. So maybe that house will even start to predict what you want for dinner. I mean, and this gets into one of the craziest things that might happen is that, you know, the brain is a series of electrical signals. And you can already sort of create chips and implant them in mice that will give them sort of memories and ability to recognize things. And you could conceivably have, you know, not necessarily, you couldn't have an implantable memory that I remember being with you last Tuesday, but you could implant memories of space or texture or things like that. And that's something that people are going to try to do. And it may work, it may not, but... So in a way, we'll sort of be coming more robotic a little bit. We'll yeah. be, you know, uh, physically and computer enhanced. Woo, it's going to get scary. That's, that's Interesting. Further the tablet happens next year. This is going to happen, what I was just talking about, a lot further away yeah. than that. Um, Nick Thompson, uh, Jeremy Gucci, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank a lot, you very Campbell. much.